I can feel a strange pulsing from those cylinders through the suit. It feels like a really loud bass. It's not sonic. The field print tells me they're hyperconductors. The force supplied to sustain them ripples the suit somehow. Veins flowing with answers. Come again. These are what's making it all possible. To keep sync on a planetary scale. Every few minutes, every blueprint is maintained meticulously. Imagine if the palace was populated. The chaos of input, analysis and reaction. All that wasted on some sick game. A game that will bring Foster back. I just need to beat it. We've seen nothing here that proves Foster can come back. On the contrary, the Echoes aren't you, N. Just like recreating Foster will not be Foster. He's dead. But he's not. That's what I keep saying. He didn't die. He was translated. To you, it's so fresh in memory your adrenaline is pumping. But in reality, he died more than a century ago. And you hope to bring him back. It's just crazy. It can be done. Grant explained it to me. But I doubt you'll understand. Try me. The apparatus translated Foster into a Kaya supersymmetrical manifold. The corresponding neutral field was captured in solid form, the cube. He really is in there, still alive, and the palace will re-manifest him. That is just ridiculous. The manifold is a theoretical shortcut. Not even during the push was it pursued to that end. My guess is it was. When else would this place be thought up? I figure some rich house considered this their retirement plan as the requisition jitters started to gain momentum. You just speak whatever comes to your mind. How do the Echoes fit into this nursing home theory of yours? For one who's seen it all, you really are very narrow-minded. Reality is diverse, and the Push era was notoriously considered the era of splintered humanity. Spreading through the universe brought about extreme human constellations. Don't you try giving me history lessons. I'm just saying that the wealth needed to develop a tech like this, the ability to keep it secret, their grotesque imagining of paradise, it all matches a recluse house. The echoes were probably entertainment to them, seeing the lower castes fighting to survive. The creators expected to be gods here and designed everything to constantly remind them that they were. And the resourceful spend their lives preparing for the challenge of being gods? I suspect Gramps' ticket here wasn't first class. More like gate crashing. That would mean fighting to gain privilege and access. Constant betterment. That's what Gramps prepared us for. And that's exactly what's needed to finish this. That's it for this area. It'd be really nice if there was like a chapter select that let me know how far I am from anything. Cause like I will admit my hand kind of hurts. I mostly from SteamWorld Dig too, but like, just kind of achy. Just a little achy. It's pretty achy. Hands are achy. Not, not a place you want to be, but that's okay. I just want to take a look at this next area. Fortunately, they don't dialogue. I really, really almost wish this game was a walking simulator. Ooh, those hitches when we're loading new levels. Because, yeah, I don't know. I just want to hear this story. I don't want to deal with the super sneaky murder stuff. Though I'm getting really good at it. Ish. I feel like I'm getting good at it. I may guess full charge. Probably full charge. I have to say that the levels are getting nicer looking. Two keys. Door down there. Same deal as before. I think that's part of it. <laughs> I, uh... I like the idea of this. But, uh... The objectives are very similar. The level design changes slightly. And... Uh, I'm not a big fan of stealth games. I'll keep going, but uh, 
I, I think the gameplay is actually getting in the way of the game, because, like, look at this shit. This is super cool looking. I love all of the, the modeling and the texturing that they did for this. It's wonderful. And this is a game that I'd love to have a reason to, like, look at stuff for. Now, we could sit around for a little while and see if the uh, no-move thing works. Unfortunately, we'd have to... We'd have to do it after a cycle. It would work if I had the... It would work if I had um, some of the corruption nearby, and I could just trigger it. I'm just, I'm not even sure if it's valid. It'd be nice if there was a meter, some way of telling ahead of time, so you could plan things out a little bit more. Because I think I'd actually be a lot more risk rewardy if I knew that safety was coming up in a second. But I guess the uncertainty of it is supposed to make it harder. I just I don't know. Here, while we wait, I'm gonna I'm gonna start uh, putzing through the Steam forums because I do want to see if the the no move thing works. I guess you guys aren't gonna be able to see that. Uh, let's see anything particularly useful. I just mostly want to see if there's a. Uh, I just want to see if there's, like, anybody that asks how long this game is. <laughs> Some of the people on the Steam discussions are goddamn stupid. There's a lot of people that are pissed that there's a main female character. It's like, what does that even mean? There are two genders. Pick one. There you go. I wonder if you can teach echoes to miss shots. Now, that's funny. That'd be hilarious if they were just awkwardly trying to shoot at you. I've heard it's about six hours. Yeah. How long is this game? Um, don't know yet. I'm nearing eight hours. Boy, that's worrying. Yeah, honestly, I get I get the very distinct feeling I have to move or do something beyond what I, I have done to get this to work, which sucks. Because the no-move thing is obnoxious. It'd be great if I could use it, but the actual, like, functionality is rough. Yeah, wait a minute or two. What I want to do is just sit here and wait and see if it resets. Period. Because that means, theoretically, we could do the no-move thing. According to the site, it's on a timer. Yeah, yeah. Let's see, does this game have a skill tree? No, it does not. Um. But yeah. I don't know. I... I'm just having a hard time. With kind of what I what I just said. It is this really neat neat idea, neat story and stuff like that. And I really wish that it was easier for me to experience it in like longer sections than you know having lengthy Cell segments that are cool. Like, I like the idea of the AI learning from me. It's just I have become boring as a result of it. It just takes forever to go to blackout when standing still. Yeah, that's why I'm here. We wanted to test to see. Because if I don't do anything and it triggers, then we could potentially do the no move thing. And maybe what I'll do is actually, um, I can pause the game, right? Yeah, okay, I can pause the game. What I might do is uh, actually try the no-move thing off-camera and just pause and then start streaming uh, with the game paused. And then I start it. Like, um... It 
If we just don't move, period, will they not move? But yeah, it it might require they learn a couple of things before the timer advances. Um, I have no idea. What is the no move thing? So, the the echoes learn from you. So if you shoot a gun, they start shooting guns. If you leap over a thing, they leap over things. If you open doors, they open doors. If you walk over water or through water or whatever, they will walk through water. If you sprint, they sprint. But what if you don't do anything? What if you don't do anything, period? What if you just sit here and wait? And when the next cycle comes around, will they also just sit there and wait? Can you just walk in front of them? Unfortunately, it looks like they probably designed around this. Um, or they they thought of this or they just never came up. Um, because that would be an amazing cheese ball strategy that I could do if I was desperate to finish this game. But I don't think it works because we've been standing here for about five minutes and we haven't we haven't gotten uh, anything to happen which is unfortunate uh, let's see but what is the three on my HUD the three is um, how much how many like little upgrade pips I have to get uh, to increase my energy meter by one can the echoes just strangle you no matter what even if you don't teach them Correct. The Echoes always know how to strangle you. But yeah, it looks like, um... It looks like they have to learn something, probably. Because otherwise, we're just going to have to sit around. So it, what it probably is, is an extremely long timer. Like, maybe an hour or something insane like that. But the first time you teach them anything, it drops to like 5 or 10 minutes. And then each successive thing after that reduces the timer. So if you teach them everything in your book, uh, run, gun, strangle, stab... Uh, open door, close door, leap off ledge, so on and so forth. The timer goes really fast. And then they're using it against you, which is rough. But yeah, I, I would absolutely take, like, instant death. Uh, Like, the potential for instant death... Uh, if I could just stab the shit out of these guys. Oh, that's unfortunate. That's an interesting point, though. Uh, Omni brings up, you attacked them because you were told they were hostile. They did not attack first. That is an interesting point. I hadn't really thought about that. So I'm going to just teach them how to vault. I'm going to better... I, I mean, I'm going to get a bit more confident about this. Uh... So I'm going to try and use it a bit more. Okay, they saw me. And there's a flash. Well, that's fine. Because I got, I got some things to work here. Do they unlearn everything each level? Nope, they unlearn everything each cycle. Okay. That didn't, that didn't work out. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to have to be careful here.
Why do they die when you smash the ball against their head? I don't know. Just said it was lethal, so I've just been operating under the assumption that it is in fact lethal. So these guys can slide. Let's go with this. Um, there we go. Let's just use an, use and abuse the fact that there's one. And one is dumb. Because it takes them forever to get up. So if they don't know where I am, and then this is really easy. <sighs> Yeah, thank you for easy corruption uh, to do my job for me. It's still a bit of a nuisance, but... Well, we're fine. And yeah, they just forget about me if I just hide behind a thing for a little while. So I guess it's nighttime already. Alright. Here's the thing. Ah, shit. What? I... I failed? I... Oh. Oh. This is a bad. Got it. So I've got a little bit of en energy. I'm down here. I have the thing, yeah? Yeah, I got the thing. Now we've got a person there. Stamina's good. We've got a lot of people up ahead, which is awful. <sighs> How did they see me through the pillar? I don't know. Because yeah, the problem is, I don't have any way of getting up. I don't have a way of getting up. Which is rough. Okay. So she's sneaking, and the other one forgot about me already. Unless the one directly behind me somehow figures out where I am. Then we can just play Ring Around the Rosie until we get what we need. They're sneaky, but they can't deal with uh, motion detection. What is she doing? I was halfway tempted to, to just strangle. But it's also really awkward. Okay, so we've got two up above up there. That's scary. We'll deal. Hey, did they ever learn how to pick up the glass balls? Surprisingly not. There's a couple of tricks that they don't use, mainly because that would make them more lethal. Um, personally... I would actually take enemies that are a fair bit more lethal in favor of um, oh we got 10 I would take enemies that are more lethal uh, if I could also like kill them permanently I think that actually would be a fine compromise. Actually, we gotta hurry. Gotta take the elevator up.
What the? Oh, that one's just gone. Okay, so I can put that one there, but I'm probably gonna cross the square. Go to the other side and go for that one. Maybe? I really wish I could just save and quit whenever I feel like it, though. This is... Uh oh Oh. Correction, they do know how to pick up the balls. Ain't that a humdinger? I wonder if I can take the ball. Can it be mine now? Yeah, so they might they might be able to become more more um lethal. I don't know. That one over there is probably not going to notice me. Yeah, well, I've never seen them pick up a ball before. I'm kind of impressed. I think it's the last three actions you do that they learn. No, they will learn more than that if you if you use and abuse them. One hundred percent, they will they will use everything. I hope I can carry both of the both of the keys. I'm gonna be pretty pissed if. What the? Oh shit! Okay. Well, the lift was rotated in the wrong way. All right, fine. Let's go for the vault. I don't know if they can vault. I think they've forgotten about me. I don't think they could vault. Well, now they can. Here she turns around. Let's go with the murder. Because, yeah. These tricks I can use. Can't open doors. Okay. Plenty of energy. Sorry, where is it? Oh, it's right here. Alright. Use the elevator. Because, yeah. They can't use elevators. That makes this so much easier. Of course, she's still there, but it takes a little while for them to become active. And yeah, I can get both keys. Good. Oh, there's a save gate over there. Well, isn't that handy? Yeah, I do wish you could kind of curb stomp them. Like, after you knock them down, you should be able to... give them a bit of a murder. Okay, I'm gonna take the side route, just because there's less of them here. If we're lucky, we can get another murder ball. Please save now. Oh, shit. I forgot the save gate was right there. Maybe I shouldn't have done this. We'll just murder this lady. At least this way, she can't go over the uh, corner. Well, it's got a bit hairier, but that's fine. Uh. 
Ah, shit. That's the last thing I wanted. Ah, well, now we find out if the save gates work or if I'm fucked. Oh. Whoa! Holy shit! Yeah, so those save gates are actually save gates. That actually, I think, saved the game for me. Okay, this is risky, but we don't have a whole lot of uh, elevators. Oh, fuck you too. sprint. See if I can knock her down. Thank you. How do I even get up there? Oh, I see how I get up there. Choice for a second. I gotta get this. And that's okay. Alright, let's get up these stairs. See what we need to do. So she's got a murder ball, but that's fine. It's probably one of the tenser spots for me to have to go at. Thing is, I might be able to use a gun here. This might be one of the few circumstances where using a gun is acceptable. Come on. Gun about. Yeah, so the thing is, shooting generally kind of clues them in. They figured that out real quick. They generally always figure that out real quick. <sighs> and now we're here. And I don't know if this is a plot area or what. Because I actually really would like to probably call it soon. But if they're going to say some nice words, then I'd be down for some nice words. Nope. Well, there's a energy booster there on the right, so I'm going to have to go for that. Well, that's something I'll have to deal with uh, later. Wow. This game just never ends. Eight hours, somebody said. I guess I'm on three. So, halfway there? Maybe? Okay, let's let's do some science here. Hopefully, um... Oh, it's gotta be mouse. If I... Oh, wait, there is a level select. Okay, I'll have to check that out. You have never killed them. Now they will be able to kill you. With guns, yes, but... No. Okay, yeah, we're here. Good. Thank you. So it does save way more often. Okay, let's go to exit the main menu for a second. I want to check the level screen. Okay, so I'm on chapter four. My assumption is there's chapter four, five, and six. Oh man, oh. Oh, jeez. I mean, luckily you can actually go back. That's really cool. That's cool that I can do that. Unlocks? Yeah, so we get war paint, big head, some other things. Settings. Difficulty? Oh, there's a difficulty easy. Huh. I might have to play around with difficulty easy. 
I'm probably not going to, but like if this go if this continues on uh too far, I might just do it just so I can, you know, finish it cuz I want to see the plot. I really do. Um yeah, so it's either 5 well, here. Here's how we do this. No, it is definitely it is definitely 6 chapters. Um if you if you measure it, there's enough for 6 unless they start uh scrolling side to side. So yeah, obviously it's um Okay, so banquet actually would have been the the last level from this zone, sort of. Except for the veins are in the middle. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, the veins are in the middle, and the elevators are at the end. Banquet is no another one of the uh, get all the orb things. Okay, well, yeah, this game this game is beatable, but uh, if it gets to be too much of a problem, I might just turn it on easy so we can see the plot, because that's that's why I'm here. The stealth is fun, but I think I think I just wanna I just wanna see like what the deal is with all this. But yeah, that is nice that there is a level select. That is that is really helpful. How do I quit out of this game? That's how I quit out of this game. Yeah, how far am I in the game? Uh, arguably. Uh, well, two thirds of the way done, maybe. Really depends on how completionist you are and a couple other things, and whether or not it actually goes past chapter six. We'll see. I, I really don't know. I, we'll find out over the next couple nights, I guess.